Hi everybody, welcome to part three, clean and decorate with me, the last one before my Christmas house tour, but I am going to be doing my master bedroom. So before I got on this video, my husband hung up the garland. I'll show you in a little bit what he hung it up with, but he hung up the garland. I'm going to dust a few things and then we are going to get decorating. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it gives you as always some inspiration and motivation to add a little bit of Christmas sparkle to your areas in your home. So before we get started, we're gonna dust a few things down. We're gonna use this Mrs. Meyer spray from, um, it's in the peppermint scent. I, I just picked it up at my local Target and we are going to get wiping down many of uh, the things that are on my side table. So I took some stuff off so I could start with a blank state slate here, but things were just kind of dusty. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna wipe everything thing down with this scent which smells glorious by the way and then I am going to move over to my husband's side and wipe that down as well um, after I'm done wiping everything down I will head on over to I decided I have this wreath that I've had for quite some time, it moves around the house. It's from Hearth and Hand, and I decided to take that since I wasn't using it in any other area and use this Walmart um, ribbon that was left over from my son's tree. Um, I will link um, my Christmas uh, part one and part two down below my clean and decorate with me. And I decided to hang it by our window. I thought it would be cute and it actually turned out really cute and it was easy and simple to do just hanging up this simple wreath and this is not a christmas stool but this is the stool that we keep upstairs it's my daughter's so she can use um, the kids bathroom upstairs and it's really cute it's from tractor supply so i wanted to show you guys so i am just going to take this wreath and use the ribbon and try to make a cute bow on top and get it to work and this worked perfectly because literally i used every single bit of leftover ribbon there was and for this room um christmas makeover i did not buy anything new i just used stuff that was left over from our christmas decor and just everyday items that we had in the house that I thought could work to add a little bit of Christmas magic in my master bedroom. my bed I just laid out stuff that I thought might go and might work well together some items I use and some items I did not use but I just pulled whatever from our leftover decor our bedroom was kind of an afterthought I just pulled whatever from the decor that I might use and look I am picking like webs off of this wreath because like I said it moves around our house and during like Halloween time it had webs and stuff on it so just repurposing the things that I have let me know down in the comments below have you started decorating for Christmas are you going to be starting soon and what areas of your home are the areas that you will be decorating I would love to know for you guys to share with me like I'm sharing with you Now we are jumping over to my side table and I'm just gonna add this little tree that I've had for years and years and it is from Michaels and then this little it's like a candle ring you can put around a candle but I've had that for a very long time as well I thought that it add a little sparkle I added that and then on my husband's side I decided to just add a few um, bottle brush trees his side I try to keep simple and clean um, and just not put too much stuff over there. So I think that came, that turned out well and our side tables are still usable, but they have a little bit of Christmas decor. 
And then for our bed, I had in a pack of two, one of the pillow covers I used downstairs. You will see that in my Christmas house tour. But um, this pillow cover, and this one is like Christmas tree farm. And then just my little tip, I've never used a pillow cover that didn't zip. So this one was a little bit difficult to get my pillow in. But I typically will buy a pillow insert, which I've had this insert, um, that is a size up from the pillow cover. So if I buy a 16 by 16 pillow cover, is what I usually buy because my pillow insert is 18 by 18 and I, I don't want it to look flat I want it to look nice and plush and then this little tin that I always have I just decided to put this little tree from Target in there and then you guys know I'm obsessed with houses so I decided to put this house that um, has been all around my house it's a little barn and it was from the Target dollar spot a few years ago and then I'm kind of fiddling around with all the lights and I wind up using none of um, just this little greenery piece light. Um. Okay guys, we are all done. I'll show you what I did for this area. I just added that little barn. It has a light. It's morning so you can barely see it. But it has, I put my little string lights in there. There's my books and then this little tree. And then there's our bed with our Amazon bedding. Like I said, any links that I can find, I will link them down below. And that little pu um, pillow cover. So cute. This little throw is from Home Goods, so I can't link it, but adorable. And then this area, I try to leave it really sparse because. My husband doesn't like a lot of stuff here, but I want to show you guys this. This is not Christmas, but we have these little things to hold our little cell phone plugs. They are perfect. But anyway, so a uh, wedding picture for, of us. We have his little lamp thing is from Target. One of those bottle brush trees and then another bottle brush tree. And then... The big window, we have that hearth and hand wreath just hanging there, and I think it looks really cute. So just small little touches, but it brings a little Christmas cheer to our bedroom. Above our bed, we have those signs that we always have, and then I added a little garland. And then over here, I just added in this little Michael's tree. That tissue box is from Amazon and then um, the monitor for my daughter. And then that is it. Um, underneath, I just have what we always have. That is a candle, my dream candle. And then that is a picture of my hubby. So this was a quick one, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this clean and decorate with me and you got some little ideas how to add a little Christmas magic into your home. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.